The most recent new thing from Xiaomi that just got announced is the virtual reality headset. Finally, a passive VR headset done right. My name is Dmitro Voloshin. This is Mi VR Headset. The headset looks really cool and will be very affordable. This is a passive headset, it does not have any sensors or electronics at all. What it does have is two high-quality glass lenses, much, much better than the Google Cardboard, a button which is again a full-fledged button unlike the cardboard goggles with a magnet or something. The button is nice and easy to press, it clicks confidently and informatively. The headset is 201 by 107 mm in size and weighs about 200 grams. The headset body is made of plastic and wrapped in a nice, soft, padded cloth. It is just soft enough not to fatigue the face as the hard cardboard does. The phone is inserted in the headset on the front. Its bay is just zipped tight after inserting the phone. Brilliant. It fits phones from 4.7 to 6 inches. I tested this with my 5.7 inch phone and it fits snugly. The front cover firmly presses the phone to the headset, as it should be, there is no light bleeding. The phone doesn't rattle even during the most erratic head movements. On both sides of the headset's front cover there are cutouts for the phone's camera. It fits virtually any smartphone and is necessary for the augmented reality apps and games. After installing the special Mi app on the phone, you can watch 3D video, including initially 2D videos shot by your phone and the photographs as well. You can watch the 3D videos on YouTube, play 3D games and wander around the Google Maps in full 3D, Google Earth and Google Maps panoramas. It's really like you've been there kind of a thing. Also, the headset is totally compatible with Google Cardboard and other virtual reality apps, so there is no possible issue or limitation with content to be viewed or played. I especially like the 3D video on YouTube in 4K and a few nice 3D games. The games are especially comfy to be played with a separate Bluetooth gaming controller, like the Xiaomi Bluetooth gaming controller thing. It's then totally immersive to play. Just the ability to look around at any given moment within the game is priceless. The headset, interestingly, is available in multiple colors and designs. It looks much more interesting and natural than the futuristic plastic headsets of the others. The main pros for this are simplicity, quality, convenience and reliability. There is literally nothing to be broken. This is the real way to try the VR on your phone for very little money. This was Dmitro Voloshin and the Mi VR headset. Welcome to the real world, Neo.